Today, most of automobiles are made up of internal combustion engines in which the required energy is provided by burning a fuel and converting its chemical energy into motion. There are various types of internal combustion engines, but for now we'll be discussing the spark ignition engine which operates on a thermodynamic cycle called the Otto cycle. In order to produce motion, we need to apply some mechanical tools such as piston and cylinder. There might be different numbers of piston cylinder devices used in an engine depending on application. Here is a V8 engine in which 8 cylinders are arranged in a V configuration. This engine is mostly used in large vehicles and aircrafts. However, a vast majority of cars use a straight 4 engine where cylinders are arranged in a line along a common crankshaft. Each device in an SI engine is mainly composed of cylinder, piston, spark plug, intake and exhaust valves. The real spark ignition engine includes four thermodynamical processes. The first process is known as the compression stroke in which the piston moves upward up to the top dead center compressing the air-fuel mixture. Afterwards, the spark plug ignites and the fuel mixture is combusted, forcing the piston down which also makes the crankshaft rotate. After the power stroke, the exhaust valve is opened and the piston moves upward one more time, expelling the exhaust gases. Finally, the piston moves down, drawing in fresh fuel through the intake valve. Nicholas Otto was the first person who invented a successful four-strokes engine using a gas-air mixture for fuel. His idealized cycle consists of four internally reversible processes where the air-fuel mixture is approximated as air due to the air standard assumption. The whole operation takes place in a closed system since the exhaust and intake valves are removed. In this cycle, the air is compressed isentropically in the first stroke. Secondly, the ignition process is replaced with a constant volume heat addition. Afterwards, the system is expanded isentropically until it reaches the bottom dead center. Eventually, the extra heat is rejected through a constant volume process instead of sending the exhaust gases out. Thermal efficiency of an auto cycle is proved to be in which R is the compression ratio and it is defined as volume of PDC divided by volume of TDC. According to this relation, larger values of R and K results in higher thermal efficiencies. But be careful that we're not allowed to keep increasing the compression ratio since for ratios above a specific amount, the fuel undergoes autoignition which produces an audible noise called engine knock and it can be damaging to the engine. Most SI engines use gasoline as the fuel. Nevertheless, selecting other fuels with higher octane rating will permit us to increase the compression ratio. Octane rating is a measure of the fuel's ability to resist knock. Nowadays, high-quality fuels are well provided in developed countries. Hope you have enjoyed watching this video. Feel free to ask us your question and as always don't forget to subscribe.